Mrs. Moskowitz from Mrs. Moskowitz's Knits and Mrs. Moskowitz's Designs. And I'm going to teach you how to make a spiral hat today. Here's an example. Different tops, different colors. And here we go. The materials you will need for this spiral hat are two different colors of yarn, circular needles, a tapestry needle, and a scissors. I'm going to be using Barocco Comfort, which is a wonderful yarn and washes so well, and I've used it in many projects, especially for babies. I'm also using a size 8 needle, but in other baby hats, I have used size 6. You can use anywhere between a size 6 and a 10. It all depends upon your gauge, so be sure to check your gauge. I'm starting by casting on 30 stitches for a baby hat. And if you wanted to make an adult hat, you would need 40 stitches, but this is an approximation because it depends on what size needle you're using. And as we proceed, you're gonna see that you can always add more repeats of the rows in order to make a larger hat. Now we have 30 stitches on the 16 inch circular needle, but you can use any length needle. And I'm going to knit row one. Be sure to be careful that you're taking the long side of your yarn and not the short side. And it's just going to be straight knit. Row two is a purl row where you purl two together purl to the last stitch and knit into the last stitch twice. It's a little difficult sometimes to get these started, but just jiggle it. There we go. You purl two together and you're going to purl to almost the end. You're going to purl down to the last stitch. Here we are at the end of row two, and we are going to knit into the last stitch twice. You put your yarn in the back, and you start a knit. Come around, here's your knit, and you pull it all the way out, and then you knit into the back of that stitch and pull it through. So there you are and now you're going to be ready for row three that's going to be straight knit. Row three is a straight knit row. So you're going to knit all 30 stitches till the end. Now we're going to start to purl two together. We're on row four. We purl to the last stitch and you knit into the last stitch twice. At the end of row four, you're going to knit into the last stitch twice. And now this is what it should look like for you. And now we're going to knit on row five. Row five is straight knit and you knit across all 30 stitches. Before starting row six, I wanted you to see what you should have your knitting look like. It's starting to have an angle here because that's exactly what we're going to do in order to create the spiral. So now I am going to purl two together and finish 
row six. Your knitting should look something like this after you completed six rows. Now's the time we're going to add our second color and we're going to start with a pearl. We start with a pearl so that you can create the bumpy integrated look of the hat. Row seven starts with a pearl row and we are changing colors of yarn. Everybody does it a little bit differently. If you change colors in a different way, I'm sure it will be fine. Just be sure your second color is going to carry forward because you're gonna need that second color when you finish the next six rows. The repeats are 12 rows. Six rows in one color and six rows in the second color. So this is a purl row and you purl across all 30 stitches. It should look something like this. Row eight will be a knit row and you start row eight by knitting two together, knit to the last stitch and knit into the last stitch twice. Now you already know how to knit into the last stitch twice. So I'm just gonna show you knitting the two stitches together. And you go all the way across. You start to see your slant and that's what you want. Row nine will be a purl row and your knitting should look like this. Remember that your second color needs to be carried along so that you have it when you're ready to change colors again. And now you start doing a purl row. And you can pull it a little bit to make it snug. Row 10 is going to be knitting two together, knit to the last stitch and knit into the last stitch twice. So this is what it should look like. This was all the purl side and now you're starting the knit side. And now you're gonna knit two together and follow it along and knit across and remember you're going to knit into the last stitch twice. Row 11 is going to be a purl row. Remember to carry over your second color and start to purl. Now we're starting row 12 where we knit two together, knit to the last stitch and knit into the last stitch twice. So hopefully yours is starting to look like this with an angle, that's what you want. And you repeat these 12 rows seven times for the baby hat, nine times for the adult hat. And when it's time to bind off, I will show you that step. Now you have finished 12 rows and you're ready to start a knit row with your second color, mine is blue. And you just go over, cause now you wanna carry the yellow yarn. So you do just wanna remember to do this carry forward. And now you're starting a knit row with the blue. So keep on knitting 
and I will continue when I have finished knitting seven repeats. Hi, now that you have repeated your 12 stitches seven times, you would bind off and I'll show you how to pick up stitches. So yours should look like this. See, we have seven repeats. And I'm about to bind off. Now we're ready to bind off. And this is where your creativity comes in. You can decide if you want to bind off at the end of row six, or if you want to start another row adding blue here just for the bind off, or stick to yellow and bind off in a pearl row. So I'm sticking to yellow and I'm going to bind off. You knit while I'm purling. Purl and then slip that last stitch over here. And knit, purl another one and bring the one closest to you over. And you continue to do this all the way across and then you will have bound off 30 stitches. Here's an example of what we're going to do next. And this example was done on a smaller needle so I wanted to make it a little bigger and had eight repeats. Now, this is what we are going to create. That is the brim. Now it's time to pick up the stitches and you decide if you want your brim to be yellow or blue for me and you'd pick the color and the number of stitches you're picking up does not have to be exact. It can be anywhere from between 78 and 86. The way I decide, it's wherever. It just looks like it can connect because you're not going to see this portion. You are going to hide it when your brim is turned up. So don't worry about how exact you make it. That's the beginning of picking up your stitches. Mm -hmm. 